Hi everyone, I guess you've noticed my Bob Ross shirt. I have never told uh, my YouTube subscribers this, but I uh, have done Bob Ross pictures many, many times, but let me tell you what happens to them. I can take anybody and put him in front of an easel with the Bob Ross books and his video and his paint, which is called Wet on Wet, and with his brushes and knives. Sometimes he can paint a whole picture with just one brush or a knife, you know. It's incredible. And I have taken probably three or four people and spent four hours with them. The thing of it is, um, you know, it takes oil painting like, um, you know, like two or three days to dry. But once you start painting with me, um, you can't, I don't let you stop, okay? Because it takes about four hours. So what I do is I show you the technique and then you do it on your canvas, okay? Now, one girl, she gave it to her dad who was an attorney and it was good enough to put in his office. I also had my ex-husband do this and he had never put a paintbrush in his hand and he gave it to his mother and we got in a huge argument because she thought I had done it, but I had done my own, you know. And the last time I did a Bob Ross painting with my granddaughter, hers was better than mine and I had to go back and tweak mine because hers was better. So I really like artwork and I have done many religious pictures and donated them to the church for safekeeping and then I go back to check on them and somebody stole them off the wall. But uh, here's, I did do some paintings I gave my daughter and her storage unit ruined them. So it just seems like every time I do a picture something happens to it. But I managed to hold on to this one and I did this in 1994 and I always laugh and tell people this is what I used to look like. So here's one of my paintings. Okay. All right, I tell people this is what I used to look like, really. Well, I think I have a little bit more of a butt. But yeah, this is what I used to look like. <laughs> All right, I had great fun doing this and you see it's got my initials and the date. Okay, now, when I go to the islands, I, I irritate a lot of the people I go with, but they know me and they love me, so. I barter with the artists on the street because they're walking up and down the streets and they get tired and it's hot. Uh, and I bartered these down for $5. And this is Dominican art. It's That's all I can say, it's Dominican art. They love colors. And here's one of them. Now, as you see, there's the, the boats and the beach and I love how they incorporate other colors in their palm trees. And so, let's please see who the artist is. If, there's your artist. Now, I paid $5 for this. If I was to go into Michael's or uh, another store like at the mall, this would cost me probably $100. Now, the way that you transport it back into the country is they, they roll it up and they hand it to you so you can put it in your luggage. And then when I get it, I go to Michael's and I buy the frame and then I take my staple gun and staple it onto there. And that's, that's the, the cheapest way to do it. So I'm gonna show you another $5 picture. No, this one wasn't $5. This one was about 40 and I got this one in. No, I, I take that back. Because I go to Jamaica a lot and the Dominican. This is a Dominican uh, picture I got for $5. This is, uh, if you've ever walked down to Sasua Beach, that's S-O-S-U-A. This is an iconic, this means something to them and I forget. But if you look, there's a bird. You see the bird? And then in the sky, they put this girl's face. And you think this is a tree, but you know, it's also her hat. 
So you'll see many variations of this on the beach. So let's see who this artist is. Oh, yeah, he signed it right there. And I got this for $5. And I just love this print. Okay. Now, I got I got this in Jamaica. This one was, I had to barter down from like 80 US to 40. And here it is. There you go. Let's see if I can get it in the frame. <laughs> there you go. It's a kitty cat in a blender, okay? So don't 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 take any more meaning into this other than the kitty cat in the blender, all right? But yeah, a lot of the artists um, in Jamaica, they hang around, they have special permission from the hotels or the resorts that you're staying in. Uh, they worked out an agreement that they, I guess, won't hassle the guests. And then at, you can watch them paint it during the day while you're enjoying the beach. And then at the end of the day, um, if they haven't sold anything, you can get a good bargain. I think the rule of thumb is whatever they're offering you, cut it in half. Um, that's how I've always done it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't have any Bob Ross pictures to show you. I do have some on my phone and that I've given to a lot of my relatives and I take a screenshot. But it seems like every time I do a picture, someone steals it. <laughs> All right. So um, I think Bob Ross may be on Netflix. Uh, he was a drill sergeant in the Army, and he said he got so tired of screaming that when he started his show, he wanted to talk in a very quiet voice, like Mr. Rogers, you see. And he was an animal activist. You'll see him sometimes with a squirrel on his shoulder. He was the one with the big afro, as you see. So, yeah, uh, if you haven't studied anything about him, uh, you should uh, look up his biography um, or Google his name because he was a, a wonderful man. So, bye. <laughs>